So following on from the previous video, um, this time we're going to look at writing x squared plus y squared equals 1 as a pair of parametric equations. So this time we're going to write this equation, which we know is the equation of a circle. Okay, and We're going to write that as a pair of parametric equations. But we want to avoid um, square rooting and bring about this plus minus. Okay, We want, try to want to avoid that. So um, how could we go about this? Well, if I look at the equation of x squared plus y squared equals 1, then this equation comes from Pythagoras. And it also has direct links to one of the trigonometric identities, which says that sine squared t plus cos squared t is equal to 1. And that means that what we could look at and say is that, well, what we could write x as sine t, and we could write y as cos t. Or vice versa, really. We could have written x is equal to cos t and y is equal to sine t. Doesn't matter. I mean, I could have written those around the other way. Okay? So this way, writing it in terms of sines and coses, um, is much neater and much easier to work with than if you brought in um, x is equal to t, for example. Uh, so... The way that I would probably avoid doing this is writing things like, well, let x be equal to t, and then we can say that t squared plus y squared equals 1. So y squared must be 1 minus t squared, and then y must be plus or minus the square root of 1 minus t squared. Okay? I would avoid using those as the parametric equations for the circle. Okay, they're much more succinct and much easier to work with in this format. So make sure you avoid bringing in this plus minus.